Hello everyone, I'm a revolutionary muggle lover and thank you for joining me here in El Jorcito Libertador del Sur. Last time we had to make a difficult decision and had to take up my brother, Maximilian. But we also took out some cartel members. So, you know, it's a trade, it's a win-win. We got bigger, we can expand anarcho or neo zapatismo thought as dictated by the... Uh, Coffee cooperatives, yeah, the neo anarcho zapatismo thought, which actually I do have a good cup of uh, coffee here. Not from those capitalist tyrants down in Costa Cafenata, but we have good neo anarcho zapatismo coffee here from our cooperatives, from our own cooperatives. Regardless, though, we are currently doing some rep contesting. We are currently waiting to go to war with the Republic of the Rio Grande. In which it still takes about 40 days. They now have six divisions. A mighty six divisions. No robots, probably. Hopefully. And their puppet has two divisions. So they total of eight. Even if they have ten divisions, it's still worth going to war with them. Because, well, they're not that strong. Organic subroutine, more infantry attack defense. We're pretty good on manpower. We're still mobilizing because we have the Veeps. Um, go ahead and do that. That's fine with me. Uh, anything else here? Not really. We're scavenging for old world tech so we can maybe get some more construction speed. What are we building, though? We're building more civilian factories for now. It's already 2277, and I'm still building civilian factories. And somehow, Moctezuma is still alive. I He's got garages, apparently. He's got good enough manpower, 68 divisions. You guys can't kill him yet, and neither can Petro Chico. So, you know what? As long as these guys are still busy trying to kill you off, I'm happy with that. I could have gotten involved in their war. But I decided I'm going to not kill off all of my brothers. Just one of them. Well, make that maybe two of them. With Santa Anna over here. And we have rock contesting so we can produce more and more robots. It's a beautiful world. Now, we can get a bonus to researching robotics. Oh, we can get Clelox garages just like our brother Moctezuma. Chinese ties, pre-war thought, party advisors. Sounds kind of like fun. Workers militias. Um, construction speed, I like that. Perpetual revolution sounds good. Mmm, robotics. Monthly population? Eh, maybe we'll go for a monthly population. Or we'll go with work for the people. The people of Mexico can now strive for a glorious future as part of their local robot construction union. And there's a small little typo there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um, so far they have infantry divisions, and they're not bad. Okay, okay, maybe that's kind of bad. Five? Five infantry battalions. This one has... Six, and a machine gun, and a recon, and you got some motorized that have five motorized battalions, and one machine gun, uh, group, support company, yeah, that's what they're called, support companies, um, yeah, ne you never want to drink capitalist coffee, they always exploit the workers, terrible, terrible, um, if any case, in any case, We'll do that. We're still mobilizing. That's good. How much political power we get a day? 1.2. How is the wasteland doing? Well, it's very colorful as we established last time. And the last time after that, New Vegas just went to war with the Fiends. New Another Massacre of Bitter Springs at the Sorrows. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. There goes New Vegas. And they're led by the house. Mr. House. Disappointing. I will go down this path. I promise you. Um, New Canaan is a really weird turquoise. Jeremiah Rigdon. Restates remnants are... Did they win? I guess they won. Huh. I want to play as these guys someday. Full Antarctic industry. Oh, my goodness. Now, let's go ahead and go to war with these guys. Uh, before we do, let me check. We, we have two planes in reserve. That's kind of cool. Got a couple planes. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, and with this, I did want to have some upgrades. There you go, guys. Go ahead and go to war. And next, I might... Ooh, combat simulations. Nice. The simulations. Uh, Sinola Cartel and Free Fighters. Nice. Nice. We got more max planning. Some more soft attack. Less cell usage. Now we can do Wasteland Autonomy. Or we can do Networked AI for less cell usage and more organization. For more armor, more hardness, and more recovery rate, hardness, less supply use, and more armor. Or we have direct control, where we lose defense, more soft attack. Lose defense, more soft attack. Lose breakthrough for our army. 
Um, I really shouldn't be using any infantry for break th for, for attacking. Well, let's add this up. So, on the direct control, we get a total of 5 plus 5 plus 15% total more soft attack. That's not bad. We lose 10% defense. Lose 10% defense for 50% soft attack. That's how I see it. Over here, we use less cell usage, which we're going to have a lot of cells to use. And we still get... Or I guess we don't get any soft attack whatsoever. But we do get harder. We get more armor. We get more recovery rate. We use less supply for the robots, which is really good. More armor is actually, actually pretty nice. Um, I don't remember which one I chose last time. Let's go with Wasteland Autonomy just because why not? Screw it. Who cares? I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. Oh, there's more infantry around here. Oh, we're attacking into forts. Oh, they got some militias. All right, so be it. The robots will have no problem taking them out. So... And before we d destroy the Republic of the Rio Grande and the little section of Texas up there, I want to make sure we go to War Economy. We've lost four guys versus 122. Not bad. Now this will give us a tiny border, perhaps? Yeah, with the Sinaloa Cartel, which is fine. Actually, it would be, probably be good. For, eh, we're kind of in the middle of the entire area. I was thinking that maybe we could stop up by Kaiser's Legion. But we have to take out Kaiser anyways, because he took out a lot of these countries, too. Hmm. NCR declared war on the Rapids. That's fine with us. Losses 15 versus 449. Very good, very good. We have been encircled somehow. Oh, at least we took Monterey. Uh, this encirclement will not last that long. There you go. Very good, very good. You guys are doing a great job with the few divisions that we have. We have 21 divisions. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. They have up to 12, and you have up to 3. Warrior training. Very nice. More defense. I love it. Weaponry. It doesn't make sense for us to go with ballistic weaponry. We're going to go with energy weapons in this campaign. Uh, support equipment. That could be very useful as well. Dynamite. Is there anything for engineering that we need? Yes. Reinforce rate. Yes. Oh, it is 2278. No wonder. Happy 2278, my friends. Hope you're having a great year. More reliability. Immediately do that. Commercial Protectrons. Can't upgrade you. Eight breakthrough and Commercial Protectrons have, well, six. I see this as an upgrade. An absolute upgrade. Good, you guys are doing fine, doing fine. Uh, don't go that way. Go over here. Just cut, them, cut these guys off. And how fast are you guys moving? 3.3 kilometers per hour? That's not terrible. Um, I really don't like seeing this. Please don't attack when you're not ready to. That really doesn't help anybody. Simple circuitry, nice. Radar, I like radar, I really, really do. But is there anything else we could do first? No? Yes, backyard workshops to produce even more and more and more. All right, so you guys got these in circles, good. Uh, I need you guys to move immediately, go that way. Go ahead and uh, go that way, take them out. That'd be nice. I really want the robots to do stuff. I want you guys to be much more careful. Losses, 61, compared to their basically 1,000. Not bad so far. The rabbits have been annexed. Work for the people. Good. Zapata's human helpers, perhaps? Do we need more metal? No, we don't. We're okay on metal. We're really good on other stuff, too. So, how about we get fully automated neo-anarcho-zapatism? Working together, the people of Mexico can start to build an advancement, or build more advanced technology, really. I love advanced technology. I really need to make sure that you guys have enough equipment on you. You have 215. How much would it cost for me to put this on here? 15? Good enough. Give them a little bit more strength. And we have enough demo equipment to actually do that to give us a little bit more strength. And now we can make anti-tank rifles. That'll be important for our infantry. As well as some other stuff, too. Maintenance companies might be good to do. Hmm. But let's get some refined tools. Immediately put a line on anti-tank stuff. Alright, so you guys aren't moving for some reason. Not sure why. Go ahead and kill them off. You guys come up there, 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 there. Ah, discovered old world tech. So we get more daily political power gain, mobilization speed, and ideology drift defense for, for like... Four months. Interesting. Interesting. Uh-oh. Encircle them. Good. Good. One less division to worry about. 
Awesome. Obviously, the front with the infantry is slowed down. That's okay. Um, Benjamin here, he can learn quite a bit. Quite a bit when he struggles. Yeah, it's not good for our manpower, but whatever. We will get plenty of manpower in, t in time. How close are they to capitulating? Halfway. That's nice. That's very nice. They're in multiple combat. Go ahead and hold. You? Ah, more revolutionaries. Good, good, good. If you're not doing anything, just take these guys out. Or take the tiles. Take the tiles. That's what I mean. Um. Oh, I've got to start making some Coast Guard divisions too. Guardia, let's duplicate this. Save. Because if you don't guard the coasts in Old World Blues, when you're playing Mexico, you might have a bad time. Maybe. Nice, not bad. Which one low? I'm going to just keep the, the demo equipment on there just because we can. Make two at a time. We're not going to need a ton right now, so. That'll be good. You're getting attacked like crazy. Pancho Villa falls ill. There you go. Very nice. Infantry expert. The south is merely a distraction for the north. The north is much more important. Go ahead and, oh, god dang it, we can't do this? Oh man, I want to go with war economy. I was waiting for that. Ah, oh, that's disappointing. Chief of the Air Force, air experience gain. Sure, why not? We could use some air experience gain. That sounds pretty good to me. Car cargo? No. Kaiser's Legion declared one twin mother. That's fine. The infantry is doing very okay-ish. The robots are doing quite well, though. And I love it. Keep producing these, and they're only 18 combat width. We need to raise them up a little bit more. If I throw everything on there, I could... Actually, that could give us a lot more piercing. Actually, that's not bad. Seeing as they can still pierce my armor, but if I can always pierce them, it won't really matter as much. I might put maintenance companies on those bad boys, though. Actually, I probably will. Let the northern... Uh, you know what? Go ahead and redeploy the line. Nice. There we go. Very good. Gloria has fallen once, it will fall again. Fuel for the factories. Zapata cannot prevail without a proper supply of oral materials. Amen. Amen. Let you guys get more reorganized. I want you to be... What if I do more careful? Robots still attack. The infantry somehow, for some reason, I don't know why, want to continue attacking as well. Good. Keep making those robots. We're going to need a lot of robots for what's going to happen to the Sinaloa Cartel, the Freedom Fighters. I might just go to war with the Sinaloa Cartel first, just because they had to come through here first. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens. I don't know. Oh! Oh, okay, that's weird. New Vegas, Clear War, and Hopeville. Huh, I don't think I've ever seen that. Where am I going? Wow, we have a very aggressive Mr. House here. Once you use robots, you never stop using robots, I guess. Come on. Uh... This is getting a little bit annoying. Just go ahead and do this. I don't know why it only costs 50. But, you know what? Let's do that. Yeah, maybe I should not have researched bombers. Maybe I should have went with close air support. Actually, I probably should have gone with close air support. Whatever. I don't really care at this point. It is what it is. Nice. We, we lost about 300 so far again. For 3,000, that's not bad. Go ahead and take Gloria. Oh. If you can. Good. Their manpower is probably non-existent. Oh, they have a little bit. But their divisions are just so weak it doesn't even matter. Kind of come up there. We took Gloria. Another revolutionary robot. Very nice. Oh, and there they go. Thank you, my friends, for the playing. Thank you very much. I'll take all of you. Ah, uh, Texas Arms Association. If I annex them, hmm, is this rightful Mexican clay? Well, they don't have a focus tree right now. It's a pretty generic one. I don't have the mod on that gives them a focus tree, so I might as well take it. If they, if I installed the mod that had their own special focus tree, focus tree, focus tree, then I would have left them alive. But right now, we're gonna claim that it's still me rightful Mexican clay. Ooh, more dockyards. I need to research some capital ships. Uh, for now, do some convoys. I don't want this to cost me too much. What else do we need? We need some more Protectrons. We need more Scrap Metal. We could use a few more planes as well. Do that as well. Good. Oh, we still have... Oh. Do that, then. Oh, we have nothing done here. Because we need to repair stuff. That's fine. Oh, we're just... We're done building civilian factories. Nice. 
good. Um, build an airbase up here. We could probably use one, and we could probably use an airbase over there. Post that. Well, let's make sure we build all this stuff up first. Go and repair all that stuff, and in the meantime, just go ahead and start making some, some of this. Yeah, I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, good, good. Ooh, very nice. Next up will be how strong is the Sinaloa cartel? Oh, actually, who's North Pole Enclave wants to go to war with them? North Pole Enclave doesn't want to go to war with us. Good. They have a lot of divisions. You guys have basically the same amount. Who would, who would it be better to go against? These guys, probably these guys. Now, how many one? How many tiles do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ah, uh, screw it. We'll go with these guys first. Our robots should be able to hold up against them, probably. So, um, and just in case, put the guys around here in the back. You never know what might happen. Good. Go ahead and do that, guys. You'll do great. Does anyone have upgrades? I doubt it. That's okay. And in the meantime, go ahead and upgrade our revolutionaries. Five. Throw on one more. Does lower our armor and piercing by a wee bit. But we do get more soft attack, a little bit more breakthrough in the meantime. And I am going to make these some pretty thick divisions. That is my plan. Now, what is our deficit? We need way more support robots now. Way more. Three a day, we make six a day here. Nice. Do that. There you go. Radio. Very good. <clears throat> Let's get some more decryption. Awesome. Re impact resistant chassis. Very cool. Grab. Uh, I could get Mr. Handy's for Mr. better Mr. Gutsy's. Uh, uh, screw it. We'll do it. Why not? Who cares? Let our divisions get down there. We need some more robots. That's okay. Do they have anti tank? That'll determine. Yes, they do. Oh, God, no. They actually have anti tank. That's, uh, that's not good. Let's do that. Ah, uh, some of these divisions have anti-tank, if that's the case. Ah, uh, there goes three states. Put you near the center, perhaps. This might actually go relatively poorly for us. If all, most of the divisions have anti-tank. Oh, they most of them do. Oh, that's not good. Fuel for the factories, good. Recycled foods, sure. It's every citizen's final duty to go into the tanks. Absolutely. Even though we don't have tanks right now. And that's okay. Hmm, I need more armor if they have anti-tank. Heavy robots? No, I get the effects of that. Oh, we were getting more daily political power. That's right. So that's good. We're coming along with this. The glowing ash. Actually, just come over here. I'm definitely going to need that infantry then. And maybe a set of bombers? Oh, refined tools. Nice. We got a total of two planes. For air base that has zero building strength. Yeah, we'll just keep them outside. And in the meantime... Let's get some more encryption before I go. I don't want to go to war yet since I didn't realize that those guys had a ton of anti tank. How about ghouls? Oh, you know what? Ghouls might not like anti tank. Do that. Yeah, there you go. Standardized blueprints are very good. Let's get a little bit more organization and less cell usage. We have 71 naval XP. Very nice. Uh, all of you guys, you might want to do some stuff right there, perhaps. Honduras has joined who? The Jungle... Oh. Le Jungle Pact. Uh-oh. Um, next up, what are we going to do? More support stuff, perhaps. I think I went with Flamers in the last campaign I did, so let's do that. Old World Tech? Sure. So who's in the Jungle Pact? Oh, oh, I thought Nueva Aslan formed the Jungle Pact. No, it's Chichen Itza. Cool. All right, I don't want to throw too many divisions on here just because I want them to try to attack me. And yeah, that's exactly what I was kind of expecting. Um, that might be few too many divisions, but then again, maybe not. Oh, the ghouls. They do have some of these guys do have actual. Uh, yeah, they field hospitals on their divisions. That's actually kind of nice. It's kind of cool. If they navally invade me, that wouldn't be very ideal, but whatever. You know, we'll see, it see what happens. This does give Pancho Villa a little bit more experience, though, as an organizer. And I might just promote him to become a field marshal. Ah. Good anti-capitalist coffee. Oh, Coast Guard, nice. Throw you down here, you're not super, super important. 
Let's see, Neo and Anarcho Coast Guards. There you go. Exactly. Alright, just guard the coastal ports. That's really all you need to do. In time, I might have them do something else, but I really doubt it. But we'll see what happens. I don't know how this campaign's going to turn out. Never do, never know. Oh, we got to guard so much here. How many? We have 107 factories. I didn't realize that. That's a lot of factories, actually. Good. Um, obviously, you got big orders to fill. You'll be under Cadmus for now. Uh, good luck. Honestly, I might need to throw one more division on there. There you go. Very good. Very good. Let's let time go on as watch as the ghouls fail to penetrate me. Or my, my robots. Fail to penetrate Pancho Villa. Oh, he's an organizer. Very good. Um, depends. I might make him a field marshal. How much organization is Chester Mitchell learning himself? He's 44% of the way there. Polyalphabetic ciphers are very nice to have. Let's go ahead and grab... What can I grab? Not too much. Not gonna lie, not too much. More anti-tank? Eh, sure, why not? We're, we're producing some anti-tank. Not a lot. Throw that on our infantry for now. That does help with quite a bit. Recycled food, very good. Ooh, robots for the people sound very fun. Let's do the anti-imperialists war. Moctezuma and Maximilian, emperors from Mexico's past, now strive to seize control of Tlaloclan. The bot that must show them that the future belongs to the people. Guided, of course, by their AI. Very nice, very nice. Let them suffer, I guess. Suffer. Uh, yeah, stay there. But be like, go like right here or something. That'd be fine with me. Uh, how many have we... They've lost quite a few. And yes, I know I am doing... I, I'm just kind of exploring the... The... Boy 4 AI. But, you know, what's fair in game is... Not my fault. Not my problem. Mm, we could explore the rip draft, but... Once we're out of war, we will have... More than enough stability. Oh, we have processed foods. Processed foods have never hurt anyone. Never. And have definitely never contributed to an obesity crisis in any nation, and that's okay. I love processed foods. I eat them all day, every day. Oh, peace conference. Twin mothers, irrigation, very good. Uh, recycling for maybe a few more energy cells. Uh, support robot deficits going down so as well as the anti-tank, and we will soon have enough to throw some dynamite. Oh, or frag grenades on our infantry divisions to make them that much tankier or at least more deadly probably just more deadly cool um we could do more of that how about maintenance companies that could be good for our robots you know what i want to entice them even more send them down here pancho via i'm doing this so you can learn more chester oh chester you upgraded nice panzer expert yes please chester He's 56% of the way there towards becoming an organizer. That's good. Let time go on for now. Let's take a quick look at... Ooh, manpower. We might need to raise conscription eventually. We do need a little bit more scrap metal. What are we doing about that, though? We are building one factory. We're building some air bases around here. Uh, let's go ahead and build another factory of scrap metal. That would be very nice. Mr. Handy's very good. And Sierra Clear World and Scorpions, let's get to Mr. Gutsies. They might be potentially better than... Uh, actually, Mr. Gutsies versus Protectron 2s. I don't think Mr. Gutsies are actually any better. They're, they're harder. They're definitely harder. Basically, cost the same. They use more cells. They're faster. Okay, so they have, you know, a little bit more hardness. They're a little harder, which is okay. Which isn't bad. Let's go ahead and grab... Oh, I don't... No, darn it, we can't go that way. Ship designer? Mm, war industrialist. Outposts. Yeah, I'll do industrial concerns, because why not? Nice, more robots. Yeah, just come right on there. And they have definitely hurt their amount of manpower. Ooh, the anti-imperialists war. Very good. Now, can I do Moctezuma must fall? Or, let's see, no Empress from Mexico, since we already took out Maximilian. We don't know why Tlaloc created an AI based on a French Emperor who tried to exploit Mexico, but we do not know how to delete him. 
Interesting. I'm just a wee bit disappointed that that doesn't cancel immediately or just bypass. Hmm. Now, a little disappointing that um, they stopped attacking me. So that means it's time to attack them. They must be out of equipment, or I guess really out of manpower. Brutal hazing. Very good. Recruit them young. I like recruiting them young. Iron grip. Engineers, the boss. Take what you need. Especially when it comes to divisions. Alright, so you guys are just pretty much clear to go right on ahead. Can they pierce us? No. And they're very, very weak. They've lost about 7,000 ghouls. 7,600 to be more exact. Very nice. Ah, discovery of old world tech. We get less subversive activities cost, improve relations. So that was worthless. We got basically nothing out of that. Conscription laws goes down by 5%. I guess it wasn't completely worthless. It goes down by 5%, which isn't great. Alright, well, whatever. We definitely got to keep an eye on manpower, though. Recycling, very good, very good. Next up, irrigation will take a while. Uh, let's do resource production. We could use more resources. And then I might do some stuff for uh, factories. No, what am I thinking? Naval stuff. Eh, maybe start thinking about some naval modules. I don't want to keep producing some of the same old, same old. Maybe I should research triremes instead of naval modules, but whatever. Uh, actually, you guys can probably just go crazy. That's totally fine with me. Um, Pancho Villas slowly becoming it a commando. That's nice. Maybe a desert fox. Chester, 61% towards becoming an organizer. Not bad. He might become a mountaineer. That'd be very cool. Troll War and Declare War on Kimmel Station. Very good. Very good. So the big baddies, like I said before, I want all of Mexico and probably Central America. We will have to take out whoever owns Kaiser's Legion just because we need all this part of southern Mexico here. Um, that'll be very nice to take. If we come up there, take off like that skim, this little, this little part off or something. That'll be important. Um, naval modules. Ah, let's get some of this good stuff. Detection and communication training. Oh, we're out of manpower. That's not good. Ooh, the Western Brotherhood has become kind of large. Troll Warner's declared war on the Western Brotherhood. Okay. And now we're running into a little bit of a problem. Nice. You guys are doing great. We've lost one versus 10,000. I like these odds. No emperors from Mexico. Is there any way for me to get more manpower? Yes, there is. Zapata's lovers. Some of Mexico's women could would do anything for Zapata. Ah, oh, I have many lovers. So many lovers. Trollworm, what are you doing? Why are you going to war with the both brotherhood at the same time? That's a little suicidal as well as Camel Station. Guys, that's a little bit too radical, I would say. Uh, just a wee bit too radical, man. Oh, you're a mountaineer. Mountaineer. Networked AI, very good, very good. And then we shall get more hardness, more armor, more recovery rate, more hardness. 15% oh, for our robots. Minus 10% supply use and more armor, good. The less supply use, the better. Because right now we currently use... How much? 1.82 supply for our 20 combat with Robatos. Not bad. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Um, if you guys could please go crazy, I would greatly appreciate that. I don't think our guys are getting attacked, so go ahead and just train. So I can research this stuff quicker, faster, better, more, please. Um, go ahead and beat these guys up. You guys beat these guys up too. Then you guys uh, beat these guys up as well. They have basically like no strength whatsoever. Resource production, very good. Next up, let's get some more foundries so we can make some more scrap metal. And continue to make even more scrap metal because we want to get out of this deficit. I hate deficits. Very nice, very nice. Doing a great job. Cruel Heartland, they're out of manpower, very good. Give me you, you four. Immediately just keep on going. We got some really experienced robot divisions. That's nice. Oh. Well, that area of the world's on fire. Troll Warren are dying. Bellingham has gotten very large. They've taken a large portion of the North Pole Enclave. 
Free states are struggling with Navajo Nation. You guys are still trying to expand. That's nice. Very good, very good. Come on, Chester Mitchell. Become more of an organizer and a mountaineer. That would be lovely. And you have done it. You don't need to move that way. Just take out that guy. Get a couple factories. Not bad. Put some more production on planes. Oh, we got encircled. That's not bueno. Ah, very nice. Thank you, Mr. Gutsy. Yeah, there's Mr. Gutsy's. More hardness. I like the hardness. Go ahead and do that for now. Just because we can. Good. 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 And we will end this episode once this faction is taken out. Well, it's not really a faction. It's more like a nation. But close enough. Good. Oh, go ahead and grab some more manpower. We're only on 5%. We need at least 15%, please. Thank you. Thank you. These guys are almost all dead. That's awesome. Well, they're already dead. They're ghouls. Well, not exactly dead. But they're still ghouls. Ah, Zapata's lovers. Give me the women. Workers militias. The workers of Zapata's realm will gladly fight for the revolution, especially with Zapata's eyebots to encourage them. Absolutely. Free fighters. Free fighters. You declare war on Nueva Atlan. You don't. You're not even connected. How are you supposed to get down there except through my lands? This is the big confusion. The handbook is done. Demand our rifle territories. Nice. Sky Reavers. Where do we have rifle territories? Is it over here? Oh, is it under Santa Ana's lands? No. Wait, who? Um, capture of Warren to do. Well, whatever. This. Ah, oh, there goes the troll Warren. Yep, that's what we kind of all thought. Moctezuma has claims on Tepic, of course. Huh. All right, guys, let's finish this up. Let's finish this up. There goes. Oh no, they're with the North Pole Enclave. Oh no, not. The Overclaws, not Senator Claus. No, we've lost two guys versus 13,000. I think those are pretty good casualty rate. And they are gone, the Sinaloa Cartel. Thank you very much for playing. But guys, that's all the time for that we have today. If you enjoyed the episode, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow as we take out the Free Fighters. Maybe attack Jetta del Sol. Continue pushing up northward into Mexico and making more and more robotic revolutionaries. Thanks for watching and have a great day.